Hello Technology Crazy here and today I'm going to be telling you a little bit about PHP. Now PHP and HTML are pretty much almost the same thing. Anything you do in HTML you can do in PHP but you can do more in PHP. So PHP you can uh, do user interaction sort of things uh, so you can take in the user's input and do certain stuff depending on it. Uh, in HTML you have to display information that's all you can do pretty much. So it's going to be it's like opens up uh, what you can do on the web. So first off, I have to warn you that you do have to have a server for PHP. You cannot just open up the file. You actually have to have it on a server server running and then you just like go to it and it will work. So first off, I'm going to be teaching you a few easy codes. When working in PHP, you have to have these little things in uh, in like around it. And if you want to type it something in PHP, you can or HTML, you can just type in here and it'll work the same. But for PHP, you want it in these little quotation marks. So, uh, to start off, one code you can use is print. And I'm pretty sure you can guess what that means. Uh, let me just print. It's going to print high. So you put it in quotation marks and you put this little thing in here. It's not really necessary for one line of code, as you can see here. But if you have more than one line, so if I did this. Uh, and I didn't put this thing here. I would get a little error here. So you have, when you're doing more than one line of code, you actually have to tell the computer there is more one than one line. So if I do this here, it's going to say print high space because I put a little space here and Justin. So if I upload this to my server, by the way, this over here is actually my server. As you can see right here, this is the website link to the server. So it's just updated and it says hi Justin. And if I do hi, I take away this line, it should say just hi. And by the way, I'm using Dreamweaver CS5. If any of you want this program, it's pretty cool. It's a Adobe program. Just go to adobe.com or something and you can download it. Uh, it is expensive, but you can get the trial. So anyways, that's going off topic. Uh, one other thing I want to tell you before I go is there's another way of doing this. You can do echo and then it's basically the exact same thing. Now with print and echo, you don't actually need the quotation marks, but with some things you do. So i would get in the habit of it. It's easier to uh, see and everything. Uh, so get in the habit of putting quotations and marks. But if I do this, it should say hi and then space hi. Yeah, see? Um, so that's your first lesson on PHP. I hope you enjoyed it. Please comment, subscribe, and rate the video. The next video will be on uh, variables. And it's very interesting, so please go and check that out. I'll put the link in the description if I don't forget. If I do, you can go to my channel and check it out. So that's all. Bye.